Today I'm going to test three different ways of mining in the nether. This video will include pickaxe mining, bed mining, and a new third technique that a fellow player on an SMP I'm joining made a video on recently. We're going to try these two traditional techniques and then see if his third technique actually stacks up against the rest. Starting with what I usually do is just normal mining. Now obviously this has the downside of having to deal with mending and stuff. You gotta be careful not to break your pickaxe. Because it's very easy to do so, especially if you're mining. Let's go ahead and start the timer, because we already found <laughs> ancient debris. What are the odds of that? So I'm going to continue mining down to... Let me pull up F3. Okay, we're about at the right Y level. You want to be at around 15, because that's where it's most common. For both of the traditional mining methods, this is about where you want to be, I believe. Maybe a little lower for bed bombing, so that you're less likely to get flooded with lava that that is crazy we just found another vein immediately what are the odds of that jesus christ hopefully we can keep up this record because it would suck if this is the way i've been mining this whole time and it turns out it's actually the worst of the three you do have to mine pretty much every quartz you find for that experience points otherwise your pickaxe will break oh we already are on full though so We'll get back to that when we need to. Also, be careful about lava like that. Again, if you just mine down, it won't flow out towards you. It'll just go into the hole. Ooh. Another piece. And we're only like a minute or two in. This is actually going pretty well. Ooh, we got some more. A double vein. It is a triple vein. It's not a triple vein. Always mine around to make sure there's not anymore. Same goes for diamonds as well. It's very common for them to just spawn diagonally of each other. And this could be a little bit of a time sink, but it absolutely is worth it. Otherwise, you're going to have quite a major problem if you get a long stretch where you don't find any quartz and then you're screwed. There's a lot of lava here. We're going to go elsewhere. Sometimes you just gotta go back and find a different direction to go. Our pickaxe is struggling, but I'm sure we'll find port soon. Right? There we are. Ooh, hello! Ooh, hello! That's why you always do the double... the double mine. Or the... you know, you know what I mean. Hey, right, we're so close to full armor. Ooh, let's go. Not even 15. Ooh, let's go. Not even 15 minutes in. Okay, I need port, like, immediately. We're down to, like, 300. This is not good. Why? Where's the quartz? This is bad. Okay, there's some. Okay. Yeah, my pickaxe is, uh, struggling just a bit. Oh. Ow. That's why you gotta be careful. Like, this is probably the point where I just stop mining and go to my end farm. Three minutes left. Can we get all the netherite I want in 30 minutes? Probably not, but I honestly don't expect to. With any of these methods, honestly. I mean, it is supposed to be difficult to get. Ooh, even more! Wait, we might actually get it. Oh, what the- <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, wait, okay, we've reached 30 minutes. I don't know if I just got lucky. I don't think I usually get this much, actually. So after 30 minutes, 36 ancient debris with the pickaxe mining method. Next up on our list, we're gonna clear out our inventory because we are going to be filling our inventories with beds. That's right, next strat, bed bombing. Beds blow up in the nether, so we're gonna use that mechanic to explode giant areas to find exposed ancient debris after the explosion. So, let's start our timer, and let's begin. This bomb has not uncovered anything, but that's okay. Second bomb, not uncovered anything. Ooh, lots of lava there, unfortunately. Ooh! And we got our first ancient debris of the session. Ancient debris, let's go. Ow. Let's turn the hole.
Ow, 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 stop. Okay, let's backtrack a bit. It's very easy to miss stuff that is like behind you. Check areas you might have missed. Okay, fire's getting annoying. I'm gonna go this way a bit. Oh, that actually took a while to find more. Yeah, we're only at four pieces. This is actually not going well at all. Oh. Okay. Oh! We're now pretty much on pace with the other method. Thank you. Alright. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's become more frequent. I think we were just having a bit of a bad luck spree. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Production is starting to ramp up a bit. We're at 18 for 20. Oh. I guess. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Jesus. Wow, okay. We're at 24 and 22 minutes in. We actually all straight up catching up. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, I'll take it. Heck yeah. Okay. Oh, hey! Actually did expose one last second. <laughs> nice. Oh my Jesus! I am counting that last explosion because I can and will. So, the final count for bed bombing, 41. Which is actually a pretty close. I think they're kind of like equal pretty much. But now, time to try this third and final method. Now you might be wondering, what is this third method? And why is there an elytra as the icon of the method? Well, let me go ahead and get my stuff back. Well, I'm just thought, what are you doing in the air? Aren't you supposed to be mining netherite is what you're probably asking? Uh, and I am. Watch this. Oh yeah, you need a no fog texture pack, by the way. Check with your local authorities of your SMP if you're actually allowed to use this. But what you can do is you can come under the lava with fire resistance. See, there's some over there. You might be wondering, well, netherite isn't supposed to appear when it's exposed. And I thought the same thing. But in the wise words of Mist Vazor, Because ancient debris doesn't spawn touching air. And the neat thing about lava is, it's not air. So yeah, this is, uh, pretty effective. There's some more over there. I feel like, I feel like I don't even need to compare the methods. It's even better if you have ender pools, I've found out. If you have, like, an access to an ender pool form, just get a bunch of ender pools. I mean, heck, you don't even need an elytra pool save if you have ender pools. But yeah, we're already at 9 and we're, uh, 2 minutes in, so... Do be careful about Elytra, by the way, because you can get into some pretty bad predicaments. Kinetic energy and whatnot. Oh, there's more. There's just such a more fun way of getting other right here. Like, it's just so much more fun. It is going to use up quite a bit of a uh, gun paddle, but I'm okay with that. Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah, be careful ascending above the lava. Another big pro of this method is, in, in the other methods, you gotta find your way back from the tunnels and whatnot. In this way, I mean, you're already out of the mine because you're not really in a mine in the first place. And it kind of solves a double purpose, because right now, I could loot this bastion here. What type of bastion is this? Oh. Yeah, ow. Uh, I can't tell what type it is. I'm not a bastion professional. I mean, hell, I'm a fucking mercy man. I don't know shit about Bastion. I kid, of course. I don't play Overwatch anymore. I've improved as a person. What are you guys doing in the lava there? Where did you go? Oh, hey. Yeah, it's interesting to be over there. So it's like... That's pretty far away. Okay. 
some of them here. Oh, perfect. And it's a free rain. Beautiful. Okay, let's get past this. Uh, you're not really going to find much in the Soul Sand Valley. So, let's go back to this nether waste. Yeah, Basalt Deltas, you won't find much eagle. Um, so, we probably beat the other ones and hasn't even been half the time. Oh, it's this one. Hold on. We're reading this from the bottom. Oh. Anyways, give myself that upgrade, give myself these ancient debris, and we are on our way. Actually, is there another chest? Another upgrade? An enchanted golden apple, heck yeah! Okay, we keep searching. That was not worth it at all, by the way. I would have made so much more netherite if I was just searching, but I don't care. That was fun. Alright, so... Let's go past this basalt delta. Okay. Through here. I found the way, I found the way. I wanna try inventing like a non electra way of doing this. It's like less efficient, but like still more efficient than uh, the normal way. I mean again, endo pools would do the trick, but Okay. Neither of those had ancient debris. We move on. Have we been here before? This is part of the problem of this strategy. You can't tell where you've been before, though. Now I know I haven't been here before, Jesus. No way I would have missed out on this. We're gonna make it to a full stack, genuinely. Jesus! They just won't stop giving me ancient debris, bro. Scan, quick scan, quick scan. I didn't see anything. Did you see anything? Let me know if I ever miss anything. Comment every single timestamp why I missed something like this. Because engagement, smiley face. Don't actually put me saying smiley face in, in the thing. Just put a smiley face like in the text. You're leaving this all in, aren't you? <sighs> well, I kinda wanna read these now. Hey! That was very nice. Can you... I have an elytra, idiot. You too. I know you were trying to hit me. That's for you guys. Oh, shoot. I thought I had an actual building block, but I guess not. Okay, now I need to get these back. Now I need to kill you. Ah, oh, this is all such a mess. Are you guys just like dying or something? Like, please? I can. You're not even scary, dude. Now I wanna have full part four. Okay, cool. Ancient debris. This isn't even the same one I looted, is it? Ow. Ow! 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 I'm not actually dying. Give me that another template. No second chest. That's unfortunate, isn't it? I don't even try it, bro. Wait, right, is it this way? Now I'm lost. Okay, I found it. Alright, and the 30 minutes for this method all up. So let's go back, check how much we got. It is over a stack. Pickaxe method got 36. Uh, bed bombing method got 31. The mist razor method got 64 plus 13. Let me just put the four in here. That's 77, and I was barely even trying. Like, I wasn't going full try hold on this. Like, I could have done better. Full reference, 
And these two methods combined got 67, and this method alone got 77. It's more than double the efficiency. It's pretty much if you want to get netherite, this is the way to do it, assuming you have the materials for it. Assuming you have an electro, obviously. Shout out to Mist Vasil for finding the Mist Vasil method. Also subscribe. Also check out my Twitch, where I'm going to be on the same SMP as him. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I'm out on the store. How are you guys doing? I heal sort.